It's a relationship forged in blood. The Marshall Islands were 80 years ago the Battle of Kwajalein marked an important victory for U.S. troops fighting the Japanese in World War II. For American troops, it was a significant breach of Japanese defenses. More than 5,000 Japanese soldiers died. Marshall Islands Ambassador to the U.S. Charles Paul says even now, the Marshallese can never forget. There are a lot of bunkers that are still, still there. Uh, the island that where I grew up, Ebai, we still use the pier, the dock that the Japanese built. But Paul says in the decades since, Washington has forgotten the critical role the Marshall Islands play in U.S. national security. To be frank, there are some times where we've, we felt that we weren't given the, uh, the attention. Uh, but obviously that, that's, that's changed a little bit, a lot, <laughs> uh, in the past five to ten years. Changed a lot, he says, because of the increased and aggressive presence of the Chinese military across the Pacific. China says its expanded role in the Pacific is not directed at any third party. For decades, the U.S. has had military control over this huge swath of the Pacific Ocean due to an agreement known as the Compacts of Free Association, or COFA. Last year, three Pacific nations, the Marshall Islands, Micronesia, and Palau, signed a 20-year extension of the deal for $7 billion in U.S. economic assistance. Those funds were included in must-pass legislation for weeks, but on February 4th, they were dropped. Democrat Senator Maisie Hirono of Hawaii calls it a major disappointment. It was not in there, so I am doing my very best to get it back in, as I said to you earlier, to put Humpty Dumpty back together in a bipartisan way. Hirono says she will add the funds to a new security bill which includes monies for Ukraine, Israel, and the Indo-Pacific. And in the meantime, she will focus on educating her peers. Most of my colleagues are not familiar with these agreements that were put in place uh, in the 1980s. They haven't been in place for a long time, but they only come up for renewal every 20 years. Republican Congressman Steve Womack says he's doing the same. Most of my colleagues in Congress probably don't know much about the Compact of Free Association. Back in the Marshall Islands, Ambassador Paul says education and health care funds are running out. We're able to have these uh, doctors and teachers and nurses is because it's being funded by the Compact. This week, the leaders of Palau, Micronesia and the Marshall Islands wrote a letter to Senate leadership with a reminder that Beijing is waiting to take advantage of any further congressional delay. Jessica Stone, VOA News, Washington.